Many people don't think about a robotics competition being at the stock show. They think about the livestock side or the actual rodeo itself. Most people don't realize that there are contests for kids to participate in and be a part of the stock show and never show an animal. In 2024, there's more to agriculture than you might think. It used to be our population was so much smaller. We had farmers that were actually out there doing most of the work by hand. Now we rely on global positioning systems. We rely on autonomous tractors, the technology of the seeds themselves. And as technology evolves, so does the rodeo, creating competitions for Texas 4-H clubs to find new ways to merge these two worlds. 4-H stands for head, heart, hands, and health. And our motto in 4-H is to make the best better. So we are a youth organization that really promotes making future leaders. If y'all are thinking about it, which side would be more compact? When I was younger, I used to deal with programming in my old school. So when I heard they had robotics here, I just decided to try it out. And then I heard we were doing the contest, so I was pulled into it. Eighth grader Sofia Navarez is preparing her team for their first ever rodeo and robotics competition. Right now we're just getting it to go where we want it to, but we're also trying to work on how we're gonna grab it. Each year, competing clubs get a theme. Last year we had a outer space moon colony theme to our contest, looking towards the moon and Mars. This year we focused on veterinary medicine and a set of challenges for their robot to accomplish. And one of our specific things is moving blood samples and urine samples, a little bitty like old film canister tube, moving it from one part of the game board to another. But we also keep a couple of unknown challenges. So we really do force them to think on their feet that day. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of good competition out there to test the skills of our school and also just the skills of ourselves. Competition like the kids of Kerrville and hundreds of other clubs around Texas. It's definitely challenging and you can get a little nervous, but it's pretty fun. So how do these robots work? Uh, it depends. So some of the robots are built all the way from scratch. I say the most challenging part is putting the pieces on the robot. All these robots we do in the program are built out of Legos. Some of them have instructions on the computer and there's usually a sort of a base robot we start from for a lot of robots. There are special Lego pieces that are the motors and those will drive things like the wheels and you can hook them up to gears and make them move to different attachments. And those are controlled by a central hub. It's not like the normal program where you have to type something out to where it will go. It has blocks that say move this way so many times or so many rotations for so many seconds. Yeah not complicated at all. When I was their age, I couldn't even have imagined a contest like this because the technology was just starting out. Now, sky's the limit. Every industry in town is incorporating technology so much more. That's something we're seeing not just in agribusiness, but in hospitals. Every 4-H project is built around future. So it's built around your educational experience and it's built around career exploration. For example, we've had students who said, I only wanted to raise animals. And now they're doing these robotics competitions, photography. They never thought they could do that. They were always told, I have to fit in this box. And they're finding out that there's a whole world outside of that little box.